Buckley comes across. Aaron Murray to his blue line. Zorn at center on right wing coming back in. Sidestep Sanheim, top of the circle, scores! Over the glove side of Robson. Zach Zorn again, just like in game six, opens up the scoring in game seven as the Vs see that shot go top glove. The first shot of the game for Merritt, it's one nothing. Well, Zach Zorn comes down the right side, a left-handed shot, and Taylor Sanheim in his first game back, 51 days, as Fraser alludes to, and he misses this check by a good four or five feet. Doesn't catch any of Zorn. Doesn't get a stick on him either, so Zorn able Scoring to take another. At 115, his fourth from Murray, and Fidanza from the high slot shot it over the glove of Robson. Jones from center hits a streaking Taylor Sanheim left. Circle scores! <laughs> Taylor Sanheim bouncing back, gets his team back on even terms. Power play goal, 4.49 gone, it's 1-1. Well, there's a quick way to make up for a mistake on Merritt's first goal as Sanheim picks up a loose puck in the high slot here. Steps out to the outside and goes top shelf, blocker side, glove side, excuse me. Great move in the high slot, top shelf, glove side on Jacob Berger and Sanheim, the one that let Zorn walk in and get a clear shot and he makes very quick amends as he ties it up here and we're tied at one. That at 449. by Bass, comes in front, nice stick check by Clack. Could be a three on two, but Sanheim wants a change, but Campbell comes on, Bass comes in, over skates the puck, throws it towards the net, bounces off a skate, goes behind the goal, center to Jones, shoots, scores! <laughs> Nick Jones, the captain, who else? When the lights are the brightest, he shines the most. 9.46 to go, we have ourselves a 2-1 V's lead. Well, that's three shifts in a row now for the V's where Merritt couldn't get the puck out. The V's all over them, and this one starts with an odd man rush for Merritt coming the one way, and doesn't it happen like that all the time? A one block, and we have an odd man rush going back the other way, and doesn't progress like it should, but bangs around behind the net and comes out to Nick Jones. He gets one swipe at the puck. to go. Now chipped ahead, Jones on right wing, has Campbell, Jones in, off a of skate and in! Nick Jones tried to pass it across. It went off of Merritt skate and through the wickets of Berger. V's finally get some luck on their side. 2.36 to go, they make it 3-1. Well, you gotta be good to be lucky and Nick Jones proves that in a couple of feet as he, the right-handed shot on a nice bank pass and a little touch by Clack. Is Tries to slide one back door to Duncan Campbell. It hits the Mare defenseman's skate. And right through the wickets of Jacob Berger is. And they got hit by Jones. V's tag up. Campbell, right side. Meek walks in, shoots, scores! Tipped in front. Duncan Campbell, get in the fast lane. We're ready to roll. It's 4-1. Well, things progressing quicker in the SOEC than they do in Merritt as plays are coming out of nowhere and another turnover, another great area turnover at the Merritt blue line and Duncan Campbell a little pass over and a great shot and 24 and white. Campbell goes hard to the net, keep the stick down and a little touch as he puts one over the glove of Berger and the V's up 3-1, it looks like Sorry, 4-1, excuse me. It looks like Merritt. Oh, no, they're going to call the defenseman for the shot off back. the glove on the blocker's side. Is misplaying. That was Berger. Now centered. Ward shooting. Scores! <laughs> Taylor Ward on a pass from behind the goal from Matt He scores on the blocker's side. 13-39 to go. It's 5-1. Penticton. Well, half... A dozen blocked shots inside the V zone and a puck jumps out for Matt Goshevsky and look at the shot of Goshevsky coming down the wing. Don't shoot high glove side where it rings around. A low hard shot creates a rebound. Goshevsky wins a puck battle and Taylor Ward from pretty much the exact spot we saw Jones score in the first. Finds some open ice, no mistake. 
The V's up by four. Second goal of the series. Right side, Crookshank. They work the outside here, does the five on three. No shot on this sequence. Now Clack, middle point, Bass. Right back to Clack, right circle. Goal line, Cylinder back in front. Clack scores! Chris Clack on a give and go near the goal line. The five on three strikes. It's 6-1 with 11.19 to go. Well, close the coffin, put a nail in it. And you might as well put a second in. Five goal lead for the V's. A five on three works. Down low to Owen Sillinger. Chris Clock quickly go to the net. Gets the puck back. Left hand a shooter right from the slot as he beats Berger blocker side. And the V's here up by five looking as good as gold as they continue to pile on against Merritt and Shesky game. goal line to Claghorn, try to center. Nice diving play at the goal line by Lee to block it. Now it comes in front, blocked by Armstrong. The second attempt goes in. Keith Bleakle scoring, then after the whistle in front, some jawing between Ryland Van Unen and James Miller, but it's 6-2 with 1.50 to go. Block in the right wing corner, Tyconic shielding goes in front. Mendel with five seconds left, pokes it out to center. Final seconds of game seven. Win it 6-2, they will move on to the interior division final. And it's another encounter with the arch rival Vernon Vipers on deck starting Friday night. Well, relish in this one for a few moments, but quickly get your sights set on Friday night here at the SOEC as the battle only gets tougher as Vernon finished second, Merritt, or Penticton, excuse me, first in the regular season and an excellent win here by the V's.